It's hurt me. I'm not liked in Washington. I know that. But I do have... <laughs> he keeps stopping him. He keeps going back like... <laughs> what was that funny to me? Oh, man. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another special movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into a really special one. And I only say that this one's really special because, my God, this thing was fighting for its life on the Patreon polls for, like, two months. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. Like, so I, I got to give it up to the Patreon people who were voting for this film. My God, man. All right. Hey, I'm happy to finally bring it up onto here. But it was versing against some really cool films and the other like you know <laughs> things that we're giving a run for its money but i'm happy to finally have harold and mod onto the channel to all my harold and mod people out there i hope that you can rejoice in happiness because my goodness y'all we're fighting for your life on the patreon polls it was hilarious but i'm happy to help out wherever i can so yeah i have no idea what this film is about but a lot of you guys have said that this is one of those films similar to 12 angry men where it's nice short but it's infinite in its lessons and in its interpretations and I'm excited to kind of jump into that because I love films like that I love being able to dissect and analyze and you know mold and bring information into me that hopefully I can give to y'all so if I'm able to kind of you know do even more of that similar to 12 angry men which again I highly recommend watching as well as checking out the reaction to that if you haven't seen a commentary to that so um yeah I'm excited to kind of jump into this so again like always i just want to say thank you guys for the support and the love um guys have just been killing it so far seriously it really means a lot to me and i just want to say thank you uh the best way to support me is through Patreon. You guys know the drill with that. Um, it's a good time over there, like I just mentioned. <laughs> and uh, at the other, another way that you can support me is through leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. In case that you haven't done that already, and it, you know it takes only two seconds for you to leave a like or one, depending on who you are. If you know competition is everything to you, you can do it in one. That's great. <laughs> but leaving a like really does help out the channel. In case you haven't done that already, and at the very least, I want you to be able to just sit back relax and grab your popcorn and snacks as we finally hop right into harold and maude again guys if you want to be able to check out all that i have to say about this film definitely check out the patreon link below you can have the full length right there for you i love how throughout this entire time we're not shown who these pair of legs belong to i don't know again i love older films because they just hold on to scenes a little bit more What is it setting up to? This is a this is a really cool build up right here. I wonder what's gonna be that kind of like this is what he's up to moment. <laughs> yep. See, I knew it was probably gonna be something crazy. Uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> you might want to get down from there. Oh, dinner at eight, Harold. And do try and be a little more. Vicious. That is hilarious. So you're telling me this dude just pranks his death? <laughs> I'm assuming he does this multiple times because of just how chill she was about this. <laughs> Harold's always been a very delicate child. Even as a baby, he seemed totally prone to every possible kind of illness. I can see probably why he jokes about this type of stuff. You see how, first off, boring this is? You know, he's probably like, yo, <laughs> let me live, yo. <laughs> Please. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. It is kind of probably traumatizing for the mother, too. <laughs> I wonder how many times she's seen her son just, like, gruesomely dead. <laughs> I go to funerals. <laughs> I'm not going to knock it, man. I mean, I think that's pretty cool, honestly. I think there's more beauty than weirdness in that. You just gotta look for it. <laughs> but what do you say, Harold? That's a great life. I love that even in his positioning and how he goes throughout his life, it almost he almost radiates like a like a walking corpse. <laughs> like he almost looks dead.
<laughs> Yo, I kind of want to hang out with this dude, man. That's that's really funny. <laughs> In short, Harold, I think it is time for you to get married. That's that's suicide. If you're not ready for that, <laughs> that's that's actual suicide. Live and reign. Oh, I can already tell. She's chilling, bro. <laughs> She's chilling. I mean, 75 is too early, but at 85, it's just marking time. That's really funny what she just said. That's actually really funny. <laughs> Pardon me? Do you sing and dance? Uh, no. Uh, no. I thought not. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is funny, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. It reminds me of um, a picture I have with uh, <laughs> a friend of mine's grandma. From what it seems to me, she's at a point to where she's just like, I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm old. I lived long enough. <laughs> do you often get the feeling that perhaps life isn't worth living? Hmm? What do you think, Harold? A, B? Oh, we'll put down. oh my goodness, man. This guy just casually opened up a briefcase and pulled out a whole handgun. Yes, <laughs> Is it difficult for you to accept? I mean, it's like, I'm going to put the bullets in the chamber. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, no. Did you enjoy life when you were a child? Oh, yes. You were a wonderful baby. Do you think the sexual revolution has gone too far? I am truly interested in saying what's going through his mind right now. Because even though this is hilarious in its context, giving a deeper context that's not told that that's not shown to us, this is kind of scary. Harold, please. Damn. I mean, because now I'm in a point to where like, wait, what if he did kill himself? <laughs> And everything afterwards is just not real. But I'm just going to assume that, as of right now, that was just another joke. Were you also the one who painted the saint? Oh, yeah. How did you like that? Well, I didn't. Uh... <laughs> Yo, she is a troublemaker. <laughs> she is a troublemaker. In this context of the film, it's fantastic to watch. But for any bystander just trying to go throughout their day... <laughs> it's probably annoying. <laughs> Yours. Oh. But you can't lie to me. Like, cemetery roads do be like that, man. Like, I do kind of sometimes want to get a longboard and just bomb it down a hill. But, you know, <laughs> maybe I'll just have to wait till I'm like 75 or something, right? Maybe. No, In a weird way. I think you're upsetting people. <laughs> I don't know if this is kind of like why GTA 5 is sort of important, but that's a video essay for another time. Wow. Oh, I love them so much. They're the only wildlife I get to see anymore. I don't know. What I've learned from uh, being around people around her age, people who are just really good people and they've lived that long being a good person, is that it is a really beautiful thing when you can talk about the things that you love. Like, that's a skill. <laughs> and it gets better over time. Harold? Harold? Like, I love that even in his positioning, he just gets into these positions that resemble that of, like, a lifeless body. Because that's how he feels. Like, depression. Shall we sit down? Oh, there's... I think I need to better understand how old Harold is. How old is he? Straws that I lost. <laughs> oh, but I, I'm looking forward to meeting Harold. Well, I think I should mention Candy. <laughs> He's dousing himself with, <laughs> with gasoline. Oh my God. Television set with no parts in it. Tommy stuck his head behind it and started giving a whole news. Like. All of us can relate to this. Like, these are the morbid memes that we love seeing right about now. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Yo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that look. He fourth. He fourth wall broke. <laughs> Rainbow with egg underneath and an elephant. Do you like it? Oh yeah, very much. I find it very beautiful when people become older and they start shedding the weight of society. How they just become an artist. <laughs> it's really cool to see how happy she is to talk about all the things she's she she has you know that's that's really cool we can't take them all with us so it's nice to know that we can talk about them for as long as we can about yourself what do you do when your aunt visiting funerals I love her personality, man. <laughs> I I just love her ex her essence. It's so cool. Yes, there is definitely she a does a great attack. job at radiating that. Not necessarily carefree, but just that childlike blissfulness that I think a lot a lot of us we kind of we kind of miss. What flower would you like to be? I don't know. One of these, maybe. Why do you say that? Well, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That was almost like a Cohen brother shot right there. That was really gorgeous. Building jumbo planes. The cinematography is taking a ride. Unexpectedly phenomenal. <laughs> it really hits on a lot of the themes in this film. Like when the cinematography hits with that theme, it just sends, you know shivers down my spine i would love to see what she, you know who she was prior to all of this or maybe she was this the entire time but from her driving i think she was like a, a race car driver or something like that because she's whipping it bro <laughs> she's literally gta-ing life and i love it Again, I really do think that's why, you know, video games like that are super dope. I can still see the sun shining, the parasols, the flashing uniforms of the young officers. Like, you gotta see how she's talking about what she's experienced. Like, that is such an important thing to really be good at. And that I hope that you guys can understand. Or at least attempt to. And there's multiple ways of doing that. Wow. Still fighting for the big issues. But now in my small, individual way. Yeah. She's focused on her own little ecosystem. That, that says beautiful. That was really, that was really well done. That was very heartfelt. And brilliant acting on that, too. I don't even know if I want to call it that. That felt like something beyond. You can do what you want. Yes. Break out of that shell, homie. You can do it, brother. You are not lifeless. <laughs> Dear me, everybody should be able to make some music. That's the cosmic dance. Oh, come with me. There has to be something. Oh my God, I could definitely see this being me when I'm older. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm third. Then, then this one here. That was a beautiful transition. I love that. That was really, really cool. Harold? I'm also going to say this. Harold got the drip. Harold is style, man. He, he got the styles. Oh, one thing more. I love that he's still holding on to the banjo. <laughs> they definitely took that tree. That is funny. <laughs> I would have loved to see the process of them taking that tree. Yeah, let me get this straight, lady. All right, then. We'll be off. Nice and chatty. <laughs> Dude. She, she is... 
how is she more GTA than than the video game, bro? Like this is crazy. Bro. Yo, she is performing donuts around this dude, this police officer with a tree in the back. Are you kidding me, man? That is so cool. Yo, she is taking this cop out for a ride, man. <laughs> that lady, come on out. Oh, well, it must have been your brother. Is it? <laughs> Dude, she's great. She is great. Be just quiet, please. Is she about to steal his bike? Oh my god, dude, she's she's crazy. I love it, bro. Oh my god, dude, that's funny. Oh man. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Stop and think about what you just did, fam. <laughs> At least that's what I think that pause on that frame was. Well, this is when I was at boarding school in the chemistry lab. I was in there cleaning it up. So uh... anybody that looks at you like that about something that you want to talk about, you should probably keep them around because that's rare. Get hurt even. Play as well as you can. Damn. Go team. God, yo, this this is this is deep, man. I love this. This is how I feel right now. <laughs> Very nice, you compact. Edith, I'd like you to meet my son, Harold. Harold, this is Edith... Uh, Burn. Burn. Bro, I would love to hang out with Harold, man. Like, are you kidding me? I would like to hang out with both of them, really, but... Dude, Harold is hilarious. <laughs> and he also has a lot of money, so we could do a lot of cool, expensive stuff. <laughs> and just take a crap at it, really. <laughs> Dude, but like that's how we feeling sometimes. That's why I need to hang out with her, man. That's funny. Oh man. I don't know. Sometimes when I get into like those weird pits that we all can relate to. Oh man, that type of comedy is great. It's a great life. Look at me. Chauffeur, respect. Damn, got his whole arm over the shoulder. <laughs> human behavior. She taught him human behavior. Oh, Harold, I've always been a man who speaks his peace. Oh, it's hurt me. I'm not liked in Washington. I know that. But I do have. <laughs> he keeps stopping him. He keeps going back like. <laughs> what was that funny to me? Oh, man. Choke him! Squeeze out his life in your own back! I think you're getting carried away, uh, Harold. How about to uh, slit his throat? Well, I don't know about like that. that. <laughs> He's like, this has gone horribly wrong. Uh, I am petitioning for peace. Parasite! And I came out here to speak. Crazy parasite! Uh, Tommy uh, bastard! Uh, get the hell out of here! Don't you talk to me like that! That was so good. He flipped his whole access on him. That's really good. Pray. No, I communicate with life. I like that. <laughs> I really like that, man. It's so funny how, like, I don't know, I find this film being weirdly similar to A Clockwork Orange. And they are vastly different, obviously, but they speak of the same thing, which is this this feeling of freedom and what is it? I think that's worth uh, a really interesting look a look into. <laughs> Dude, this is exactly why I would love to hang out with this guy. That stuff is hilarious to me. 
everybody's like, wow, this space is gorgeous. I'm like, dude, do you not hear how loud this door creaks? Imagine trying to get a snack at 2 a.m. Oh my goodness. Is he going to perform some puku? Oh my god, no. <laughs> I think I started to slowly realize what he was doing. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so funny. This is so funny. <laughs> oh, happy dagger. This is thy sheath. There rest. And let me... I mean, she's... I mean, she's better than the other two. I'll say that. <laughs> Homie got his whole script flipped on him. <laughs> My man is speechless. <laughs> Dude, the parallels, man. They they do parallel. Well, we'll call it parallel comedy extremely well. That was that was that was good. Nicest present that I've received in years. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I like that. So you always know where it is. I never. I haven't thought of things like that until now. This dude went ahead and got his rocks off. I'm not even mad about it, man. <laughs> like, like, how can you? I mean, other than the fact that, yeah, it is a little weird for society, but like, you know, this is like a human film. So society kind of doesn't really pertain to that. I love that they're kind of answering it, you know, because, yeah, that is like one of those moments where it's like it feels like that. But, dude, this whole film, it's like, who gives a damn? I'm happy, you know, like that's that's what's up. Consciously wishes to sleep with his mother. Of course, what puzzles me, Harold, is that you want to sleep with your grandmother. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's really funny. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> the fact of your firm young body. <laughs> this film is epic. This film is really epic, man. They take it there. Withered flesh, sagging breasts, and flabby. Shout out to this actor, by the way. This is hilarious, but I'm very happy that this film is like, no, we're taking it there. Because we already took it there. Let's take it there. Vomit. I don't know. Low key, that's how I feel uh, sometimes when there'd be like hate comments. Like, I'd just be like, I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> I'm so infinitely happy. And champagne. Oh. It's all right. It's organic. <laughs> I don't know. I'm starting to see like when you love things, you just put so much more intention into things, and I think that's a wonderful, that's a wonderful thing to be proud of, especially when you share it with another person. Are you? Yes, dear. I took the tablets an hour ago. I'll be gone by midnight. Whoa, what? Why would, what? No, huh? Ah, uh, I get it, but damn. Ah, uh, she didn't have to do that, but I get it. 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 Ah, uh, but damn. I almost wish she didn't do that. She, she could have just, she could have just lived a little bit longer and died naturally. But I get it. Maybe she maybe she wanted him to continue exploring. Yeah. See, I, I, I think she was just teaching him 
how to love. But everything was real. It sucks, man. Damn, I just feel like I just got hit with a brick. Also, I think for film purposes, it helps wrap up the conclusion of this film. Like, you know, he understands death more now, I feel like. So I get it, you know. For movie purposes, this is probably a good move to make. Yeah, just look at how much he's fighting for her to stay alive. I feel like at the beginning of the film, he wouldn't have understood the importance of that. So, I, I agree with the film's decision on doing this, even though I personally was just, like, attacked. <laughs> I get it. Hey, he... He got the skills, though. He's got the skills. I mean, this dude's whipping it, bro. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't think he was in that. I don't think he was in that at all. It's kind of similar to what she said about the coin toss. Now he knows where to go to, to remember. Mm. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm feeling real deep on this one. This is, this is so good. Life is just that much more incredible because of everything that happened. Wow. All right, everybody, we just got done. Harold and Maud. Um, first and foremost, I would like to thank the Patreon. Seriously, thank you for bringing this film to my attention. And thank you for fighting for like a month and a half or two to get this on the poll. Uh, man, this, uh, this, this film is jam-packed with so much goodness again i relate it to that of stanley kubrick's because in stanley kubrick's bodies of work you can you can really peel a lot of layers from it and just reveal a lot of themes and stanley kubrick he's in my opinion a lot more careful in intentionally showing you the reality of things and sometimes that can be a little morbid However, there's always two sides of a coin, right? There's that side, but then there's also the other side, which I think could be its counterpart, which is Harold and Maude, you know? In this story about this guy who is struggling with uh, complex emotions like depression and uh, coping with the existential feeling of death <laughs> as well, and just being really lonely and not understood, I think that's something that a lot of us can relate to. And throughout this film, we see him attempting to just find some meaning, and then he does. And we're taken along this journey, and it grows into this incredible story of falling in love with not just, you know, with this person, but with life. You know, the very thing that he has in a way made a joke of and i think that's beautiful you know and i only i know that he only did that to cope but it's also really cool to see him now being able to cope in this method and i think that's really beautiful to kind of move forward in life with um, there was a lot of themes that just explored that you know and revealed itself in ways that i always felt but never really saw in a film until now it's very rare that i do see those type of messages and i'm very happy that they took the extra steps especially towards the conclusion to really bring it in there to really like say no this isn't just a lovey-dovey type of film even though off the bat it wasn't but the theme isn't lovey-dovey and i think they really proved it in there with the last act there especially when you know it's revealed that they've made love and that they're getting married and you know to us you know the viewers were probably like oh that's weird and oh i feel weird about this and i love that they also answered that right afterwards just showing him with the therapist with the you know the military guy who tried to recruit him into the army and then 
um, my favorite part really was with the priest or the Catholic priest. And I love that they held on to this frame and that was performed really well by whoever was playing him just to showcase like all these different type of people trying to tell him what to do with his life. I think that's hilarious because right after that, it cuts to them getting married because who cares, right? Like who cares? As long as you're happy, then that's kind of really, quite frankly, all that matters. <laughs> and it's funny because the video essay I'm about to come out with touches on that. So it's just crazy that this is happening. But um, man, I had such a incredible time with this. Uh, the filmmaking and the cinematography were just so expertly done and they really helped drive those themes that are really hard to relate to an audience with or the general public so to speak um, some people may not like this some people will really like this some people won't take anything away from it but i think the fact that this thing was even made to begin with um, is really fascinating, at least for me. And I hope it is for y'all. And I hope that my commentary over this was somewhat of a pivotal positive moment for you guys as well, too, especially during all of this. So I love y'all. Y'all already know how we roll over here. This is what we do. Much love. Stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat